Coming to you live from the Mushroom Kingdom, it's Ask Mario! Hello, Nintendo fans! Welcome back to the show! Yeah, yeah, welcome back, nerds! la de freaking la Bowser? What's the matter? Why, nothing's the matter, Mario. Everything is just... Peachy! <laughs> See what I did there? Jeez, you're usually not this grumpy until at least a few minutes in. Oh, wait! You never found our tech guy, did you? <laughs> <laughs> you can't catch Slick Frame James. <sighs> I searched the entire Bean Big Kingdom, but couldn't find the little punk before this episode started! <sighs> I never have any luck when I'm over there. The country hates me! Worst kingdom ever! Don't you worry, Slick Frame. As long as Luigi and I are here, you're safe. Wait a minute. Wouldn't you be safer back on Earth? Uh, let's just say 2020 has not been the safest year to live on Earth. Bowser is much more tame by comparison. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyways, let's move on to the first question. Bowser, is it just me or do you sound different? It's, uh, just you. Oh. Okay. Mr. B asks, for Mario, how did you feel when Luigi got kidnapped in Super Mario 3D Land? Eh? Uh? Just another day at the office? It wasn't the first time he'd been kidnapped. Yeah, Bowser has kidnapped me at least a couple times before that. Like that one time in Peach's castle. It was... oddly considerate of you to put me in a room with the letter L above the door. Oh, you're welcome! I like to label my prison cells accordingly. M for moron chamber, W for waste of space, uh... Space, and I prepared the loser room especially for you. Ha 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 ha! don't listen to him, bro. Bowser only puts you down to make up for the fact that he never wins. He's like those insecure guys who are so concerned with being cool that they wear shades indoors. Oh, wow. I know, pathetic, right? <laughs> oh, for the love of plumber, I swear you won't make it to the next episode if you don't shut your trap! Wait, where'd my shades go? Have you guys seen them? Goggle Hero Omega Maple asks, So, Koopy, who's Junior's mom? I've always wondered if there was another Koopa like you. <laughs> yeah, Koopy, who is his mama? I told you to stop calling me that! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> There's no other Koopa like me, but Junior's mom. <laughs> Obviously, Princess Peach. Haven't you played Super Mario Sunshine? Bowser, you said yourself that she isn't his mom. No. Technically, Scott Burns, my voice actor at the time, was the one who said it. For all you know, he could have been lying. Nope, he was telling the truth. Besides, we all know who Junior's real mother is. What the? Who's this weirdo? Alley Cat Gaming asks, Bowser, how do you budget? Seriously, you've got seven kids, an entire kingdom with a military, and several hundred bases. I also wonder what kind of insurance you offer. Uh, c correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like this person is interested in joining Bowser's kingdom? <laughs> well... Mr. or Miss Alley Cat, it's quite simple. The economy of my kingdom runs on stolen treasure. Most of it is mine, and my minions get a very generous minimum wage, regardless of job title and skill level. But even if I didn't have any treasure, I'd just steal everything I need to survive and keep my kingdom running. Unlike goody goody two shoe pansies, I don't play by the rules. But, hypothetically, if you didn't have any treasure, why would your minions continue to work for you? Duh! I'd force them to! And if they even think about deserting, I'd just imprison them! 
Gotta keep spare food for the chain chops, you know. You probably don't offer any uh, insurance, uh, right? Nope. If you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. You know, if they want to turn over a new leaf, there are plenty of safe places they can stay and make an honest living, like Koopa Village or Petalburg. Millions, if you're watching this, and you even think about deserting my empire, I won't show you the slightest bit of mercy! Oh, and Alicat, welcome aboard. Red for Life asks, to Bowser, where did you get the Koopa clown car? Oh, that little beauty? I made it myself. I forced some of my minions to build it for me. So you didn't build it yourself? No, I came up with the ingenious design, and my minions made the parts and did all the manual labor. Like I said, I made it myself. Uh, right. Also, I made some more for Junior and the Koopalings by making my minions make some more for Junior and the Koopalings. Oh, those mini clown cars look awesome at Smash Brothers. I gotta admit, those clown cars can put up quite the challenge. How come you never use yours in Smash? Well, I gotta keep Junior and my kids safe. But I don't need a vehicle in a fighting game. I'd rather rack up KOs like a real man, with nothing but my two fists. And fire. And large bottom. <laughs> exactly. Wait. Alpha Ghoul asks, I heard the Koopalings have been retconned from being your children. Thoughts? Retconned? What's a retcon? Oh, well, to retcon is to revise something, typically by introducing a piece of new information that imposes a different interpretation on previously described events. Uh... Say what? <sighs> Are the Koopa kids related to you? Oh, no. They're not my offspring. My relationship with them is often misunderstood. I took them in as my top-tier minions. They're pretty good at what they do, and- Except at fighting Luigi and I. <laughs> Let me finish. They're kind of, sort of like family to me. Junior's my son, whereas the Koopalings are more like, um, adopted mercenaries who uh, look up to me as a father figure and live with me, but aren't actually my kids. Sounds... Kinda complicated. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. What about that cartoon where they all had different names? Weren't they actually your children? They were, but if it's not part of the games, it's not canon. Yeah, I mean, seriously. What kind of nut job names their kids Cheatsy, Big Mouth, Cootie Pie, Hop, Bully, Hip, and Kooky? Every dad should follow my method and name their kids Bowser. Can't get any better than that. How about... Koopy Jr.? I will end you! Donato... or Donato... X-I-E... Sorry, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. To Mario and Luigi. What was your first pinball machine by Gottlieb like? Oh, it was super cool! They made it back in 1992, and it was heavily based on Super Mario World. My only complaint is, uh... my voice. I... I don't think they hired Charles Martinet, cause I sound weird. Did you just say, oh solo mio? Uh, Mario? That is Charles Martinet. It was one of his first gigs. Really? Oh. My bad. <laughs> Well, he uh, definitely improved, <laughs> uh, that's for sure. <laughs> I have one of the original machines hidden away in a storage unit. Maybe I'll bring it out sometime and give it a whirl. Oh, 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 please, please do. I would love to play it again, Luigi. I used to play it at my local arcade. Of course, the employees eventually got rid of it for some stupid reason. Oh, sure, keep the Addams Family pinball game, but get rid of the awesome Mario one? Yeah, real smart, guys. Who wants a Nintendo pinball machine, right? Right? Nobody, apparently. 
fine. I guess I'll just play Pokemon Pinball on my Game Boy instead. Who needs a real pinball machine when you can look at a screen the size of a freaking toenail? Uh, slick frame? We're moving on to the next question. Yeah, shut up, nerd. This ain't your show. Why don't you make yourself useful and order me 50 boxes of 20-piece chicken nuggets? You better not forget the spicy buffalo sauce this time. And no ranch. I hate ranch. <sighs> yes, sir. What was that? Nothing. Kaiju forward. <clears throat> <clears throat> I mean, uh, sorry. Uh, Kaiju417 asks, Question for Mario. What is your favorite adventure? Oh, that's a tough one. Well, first tend to have a special place in my heart. I look back fondly on the arcade Donkey Kong from 81 and Super Mario Bros from 85. Aside from those two, I remember New Super Mario Bros DS was a pretty big deal. It was my first original side-scroller in over a decade. Then again, Thousand Year Door and Odyssey were a lot of fun too. Hmm. I don't know. Choosing a favorite is hard. Oh, 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 what about that time we all teamed up to fight Taboo? That was epic. Only when I joined your team near the end. <laughs> Speaking of, I think you all know which adventures are my favorites. The times I single-handedly defeated Smithy, Fawful, and Dementio. Oh, don't remind me of Dementio. That adventure was not my favorite. Oh yeah, you were brainwashed really bad. I had to stomp on him real hard to get you out of there. Aww, Bowser. You put in effort to save me? You really do care. Don't push it, Greedy. It was all to save the world from getting erased so that I could conquer it later. Oh, what a softy. Come on, Luigi. Let's give him a peek. Hug. Touch me and you're dead. <laughs> Love you too, Goopy. Bowser14456 asks, To Bowser, why do you like Peach so much? Yeah, she's pretty, but I like Rosalina better. Okay. First of all, this dream is a fraud. They're using my name. You better not try to hack into my bank account, you punk. Or I'll find where you live and sneak into your room while you're asleep! What? What What would you do? Uh... I, I don't know. Fart on their pillow and give them pink eye, maybe? Um... Uh, I'd have to think it over. Yeah. Secondly! Sure, Rosalina is a hottie with a body, but no woman can compare to my peach. Only tasteful gentlemen, like yours truly, would understand. That and I don't want to raise an entire race of star babies. Those things suck. <laughs> Rosalina is sure lucky she doesn't have a psychotic kidnapper. Rather, I'm hoping someday she'll find someone special to spend the rest of her life with. Someone who will happily help her watch over the cosmos. And raise an entire race of star babies. <laughs> no, thank you. Hey, wait a minute. I just thought of something. Why is it that Lumas feel so comfortable turning into giant land masses out in the middle of space? Wouldn't they rather be able to talk and move, you know, have free will? Uh, I guess we'll have to get Rosalina on the show someday to fill us in. I'll ask her if she has any free time in the near future. Peach first! And Daisy. No! Carlos Hernandez asks, To Luigi and Mario, what do you think of Guigi? Guigi? Oh, he's great! A lot of puzzles in that hotel would have been impossible without him. He kinda creeps me out. <laughs> but he helps my bro stay safe, so he's good by me. Who the heck is Guigi? Well, what? You didn't play Luigi's Mansion 3? Wait, why am I surprised? I think Bowser is only interested in playing games that he's in. Heh! <laughs> Bullseye! You know, all three of us have had a doppelganger at one point. It's kind of a Nintendo cliché. Oh, you mean like Link? 
Oh, I don't envy him. Fighting Dark Link in that water temple did not look easy. Oh, evil doppelgangers aren't that bad. Just punch them in the face over and over till they fall down. It's worked for me. Heck, that's how I solve most of my problems. Show, Show your moves. moves. Edward Two Fan Forty Seven asks to the Mario Bros. Will anyone else be joining in the Q and A? Example being Peach, Yoshi, Toad, Daisy, etc. I certainly hope so. Uh, I suppose Peach or Daisy would join us first, but we'd have to chain Bowser to the wall or something. <laughs> yeah, just try it, Shorty. I dare ya. Uh, who knows? Maybe we will. I'd sure like to have more guests on my show. Ahem. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, our show. <laughs> Sorry, Luigi. <laughs> How about instead of Ask Mario, we call it The Incredibly Handsome King of Awesome Answers Questions from His Loyal Fans. I don't think that'd be easier to type on YouTube. A show with that title must be high art. It should go on Vimeo instead. <laughs> well, yeah, anything with me is high art. Vimeo, huh? We'll have to look into it. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. I'm not. Well, that's all we're doing for today. Be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button and bell icon to get notified when we release new episodes. Also, leave a comment below if you want a chance to hear us answer any questions you have. Remember, questions for me will never be ignored. They're always top priority. No, they aren't. Thank you so much for watching our show. See, See you, you next time. time. All right, tech boy, I'm ready for my chicken nuggets. <sighs> they just arrived. Oh, uh, by the way, they're all out of spicy buffalo, so I ordered you honey mustard instead. You have three seconds to start running.